Today, dirty old chimney sweep Bilsif here, eh? Friggin' right it is. Today on Bilsif Show, we're gonna sweep the chimney, boys. So come on up here and watch how it's done, why don't you? Well, hopefully there's not much wind tonight. It's not gonna cock over the video. I got you on the tripod on the roof, I do. So hopefully it doesn't fall off, for freak's sakes. First thing you wanna do is pull the old Linaruski off the old friggin' stove pipe here, eh? Hey, I can do it. Like Decent, eh? Friggin' right it's decent. Eh? Friggin' right we will. So we're recording. So first thing you want to do is shove the, the old brush ruski in the dirty old hole. Oh no boys, we're going to screw another extension on. How's it look down there Jim? Well I can't see nothing. Can you see down there? Probably not. Just colonoscopy the hell out of this stack, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see it? I can't even see the flashlight anymore. Whew, look at that old rod we do. And whenever you have a wood burning stove, you want to make sure you do this at least once every two years you do. Don't leave it much longer than two years, eh? No, you better not. Oh, we're there. I didn't hook up the other pole. Oh, oh it's going further. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're all, we're all the way, Jim. So now let's break back up. Hopefully the GoPro is still on there. Whew. Ooh, hey. Here it comes. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, yeah. You still on, boys? Hopefully it didn't cock you over losing in the fucking stack of Ruski. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of video. Why wouldn't you? And look at me, boys. Okay? Oh, boys, are we ever lucky. The old GoPro broke off and did. But thank God it couldn't get past the old chimney sweep. How you freaking doing? Hey? Oh, but anyways, there we go. There's not much to sweeping the old chimney, as you can see. Except for tons of interruptions and stuff like that from the family, right? Why wouldn't they? Put that down there, why wouldn't I? So you can put the old stack of back on. Jesus. And now that we're done that, we can get rid of the step ladder too, we can. Hey, right, we can. See you later. What I did. So now what you want to do next is you want to go into the house clean out and vacuum out the old fireplace down there now. So let's go take a look and see what we can find. Well, we're back in the house we are. We're gonna check in as the wifey poo is getting the vacuum out because you know, that's something that's very rarely done in this house. <laughs> you should see the look I just got. It was freaking priceless it was. Right, Mel? You won't be dead. Yes, please. Hey, do I have to put an order in for that? Dead with cheese, please. Freaking right. This thing here, it's a reburn stove it is. I gotta pull these out and we'll see what's on top. There you go. Uh, I don't want it on right now. But anyways, look at the stuff on that piece, eh? Decent. That's what I just uh, chimney sweeped I did. And now we'll pull the other one and we'll check it out. There's two of these in here and they're both broken. We need these too. Frig. This stove needs some maintenance, it does. Oh yeah, we did. So it definitely was dirty. It was. You don't want to have too much on your stove, eh? You got to feel inside. Let's feel in the hole. See how she feels. Oh my god, boys. Oh my god, there's so much on there. I think I got her I did. Friggin' right I did. That's friggin' decent. Well, thanks, Mel. Why wouldn't you? But anyways, get your hand up inside there and make sure there's no doodads and whatnots. 
inside the hole, boys. Oh my God, my arm just doesn't bend that way anymore. I'm getting too old. But there's quite a bit of poop in there, there was. So I'll get wifey poo there to uh, hand me the old vac -rooski. Why don't you want a bag? Bag for what? For yeah, I guess I could throw it in a bag first, then vacuum it, eh? So you're thinking? That's what I would do. She might have a point there. Bring the bag over here, hun. I'll give you a couple scoop roos. So we're gonna scoop this and we're gonna throw it in there we are. Oh yeah. She's helping me. For once in her friggin' life. I'm gonna get smacked and you feel it coming. Look at that load. So make sure when you're cleaning out your fireplace, you clean her out, boys. Decent. So make sure you clean it out, boys. So make sure you clean it out, boys. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? All right, thanks, son. Vacuum? This is a dirty job, but someone's gotta do it. Friggin' right, we do. How many of you guys have a wood stove at home? Leave your comments below and let me know. Why wouldn't you? How many of you guys want to quit YouTube? Leave your comments below now and let me know. Why wouldn't you? Oh, I can't get it up there. Oh, I'm not even close getting in the hole. It's up top. Hear that? Sucking some air, and I am. I'm stuck. How the hell did I get it stuck in there? So like I said, my fireplace wasn't too bad because I do do a chimney sweep quite often on this thing. I try to do it once a year. I can't remember if I did it last year or not. Did I do it last year? I don't think I did because I only had the fire on every weekend last year. I didn't burn it all winter. Some years I burn it all winter, but I'm not going to burn it all winter this year either. It's just going to be a, a weekender, boys. Hopefully you make sure you clean yours out because you could cause a chimney fire if you don't clean them out. So make sure you do that. Why wouldn't you? And if you don't have anybody to do it, Call dirty old bills and they'll come over and do it for your angle. Right, Steve? Hey, I know you watch these, Steve, so if you need me to come over and help you do a chimney sweep, let's get her done, son. Oh, hey. I need to get a painter over here, dude. Do you know any painters out there? I think I know a couple. Get over here and paint my house. Why wouldn't you? Get over here, paint my house. Why wouldn't you? Oh, hey. <laughs> But anyways, hope you enjoy this video and leave your comments below if you think I did it all wrong. According to a lot of people out there, I did my trailer all wrong too. So hey, it is what it is, it is. Hey, if you don't like it, that's the way she is, boys. Don't worry about it, she'll be fine. Hopefully you have a good day like me and don't do anything I wouldn't do and uh... You know what to do for now.